It's that time of year. It seems like everyone around us is sick. Hopefully you are not, and hopefully your students are healthy, but today I've got some picture books all about germs and making sure your students don't spread them to each other in the classroom. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm from The Colorful Apple, and I show up on this YouTube channel every week with picture book ideas and read aloud tips that you can use in your classroom. If that sounds like something you're interested in, give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below. But let's jump into those books all about being healthy and not spreading germs. <laughs> The first couple books that I have are definitely targeted more towards the younger crowd, which I think is really helpful, especially in that kindergarten age when students are in the classroom for the first time and how important it is to wash your hands. So this one is called I Don't Want to Wash My Hands by Tony Ross. And I realized that this book has two different titles. I got the same book. I believe the other one is called Wash Your Hands. Um, they're the same exact book. <laughs> I got both of them out of the library and realized they were the same thing. But it's about this young girl who wants to be a princess, but she does not want to wash her hands. And her family goes through the process of telling her all the times that it's important that she washes her hands. After playing in the mud, after being with the dog, before she eats dinner, she doesn't want to wash her hands. But they talk her through it and explain why it's so important that she washes her hands and how that helps prevent spread germs to others. So again, another a great one for teaching younger students about the importance of washing their hands, especially in the classroom. The next one I have also really good for younger students. This one is Germs Are Not For Sharing by Elizabeth Verdick. And this is a very basic book about how germs are spread, how you can prevent them from spreading, and why it's important, why you don't want to be sharing your germs. It talks about washing your hands and not only why that's important, but how to really wash your hands to make sure that they get good and clean, that just sticking them under the water quick is not enough. And it also gives some back matter with additional information that you can use to help teach your kids about how important it is to not share those germs in order to keep everybody healthy. This next one is one of my favorites and I have a lesson to go along with it. So let me tell you about the book first and then what the lesson entails. This one is called Sick Simon. <laughs> Your students might love him. He's kind of this gross little guy down here at the bottom. And it is cold and flu season and Simon is learning what to do and not to do to keep those germs from spreading. Because when he has a cold, he's coughing, not covering his mouth, sneezing and touching everything, not washing his hands. And so everyone starts to call him Sick Simon. Can he learn to change his ways? You'll have to read the book with your students to find out. But because this was one of my favorites, I have a lesson plan to go with it. I'll leave a link to it in the description box down below. But in this lesson plan, I include an overview for the teachers as well as discussion questions. You can print right on on post-it notes and stick them in the book so that they are ready to go. And these discussion questions include some engagement strategies and some questions you can pose to your students about the importance of not spreading germs and what we can and shouldn't do in order to prevent those germs from spreading. There is a fun game that your students can play in small groups all about germs and staying healthy, as well as some task cards to get that discussion really going between your students or they can be used as independent practice. And I've also included an anchor chart that you can hang up in the classroom to help your students remember just how important it is to not share those germs. We wanna share other things, just not the germs. <laughs> this next one, I really like the title of it. This one is called Do Not Lick This Book by Ivan Benbarek. It says it's full of germs. <laughs> But the author is a microbiologist, so he takes students on kind of a journey of germs in all the places that they can land. And it's kind of neat because it kind of shows that they can land on your sweater and it gives this zoomed in microscopic view of your sweater and how small those germs really are. And you'll go to all these different places where germs can land and help students understand that 
We can't really see germs, but they're there and they're everywhere and we need to prevent the spread of those. Next we have Germs versus Soap, written by Dee Dee Dragon. And this one shows the, not only the importance of washing your hands, but how to do so really well. And so you follow along in the story with these little germs down here and how they want to have a no soap party and how much they hate soap and being washed and cleaned away. And your students will kind of understand their secret and why it's important to wash your hands and how to properly wash your hands to really get rid of all these germs. Another helpful yet very silly book about not spreading those germs. Next we have a, another germ book. This is A Germs Journey by Tom Rook. Again, we have another silly illustration of a germ that your students will definitely like. And this one takes you on the journey that a germ takes from leaving your mouth when you sneeze and where it might land and all the things that it might touch and all the other people that might get sick. <laughs> this is a good book about showing your students how far germs can travel and all the places that you can pick up germs from. So another good one to help your students stay healthy in the classroom. The last book that I have is How Does Soap Clean Your Hands? The Science Behind Healthy Habits. And this one's written by Madeline J. Hayes. And I like that this one, it's a little bit longer. It's a nonfiction book, not as much of a story, but it gives more of that information about how. We're always telling our students in the other books, we, you need to wash your hands. It's important. You need to not spread germs. But this one kind of gives that background behind how it works, how hand washing helps get rid of those germs. And it gives a lot of that scientific background that I think especially some of the older students will find really interesting. And it provides lots of diagrams and photos and charts in throughout the book that will really help students to understand the concept of washing your hands in order to get rid of those germs. And this book even provides a glossary in the back of those scientific terms, as well as a few fun scientific activities that you can do, some STEM activities you can do in the classroom to learn more about soap and how it helps get rid of germs. I will leave all of these books as well as the lesson plan linked in the description box down below so that you can grab them to use in your classroom because I'm guessing that a couple of your students, if not a lot of them, are sick right now and could use a little bit of help in learning how to wash their hands and why it's so important in stopping the spread of those germs. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below because I will be back next week with more read aloud tips and book ideas that you can use in your classroom right away. Have a great week.